southern state. The day of us passed away would be our national holiday. If the South would have won, we'd have had it made. I'd make my Supreme Court down in Texas. And we wouldn't have no killers getting off free. If they were proven guilty, then they would swing quickly. Instead of writing books and smiling on TV. President of the Southern State. The day young Skinner died, we'd show our Southern pride. If the South would have won, we'd have had it made. A little Dixieland, boys. Oh, yes. whiskey made in Tennessee and all the horses raised in those Kentucky hills the national treasury would be in Tupelo Mississippi and I'd put Hank Williams picture on $100 bills I'd have all the cars made in the Carolinas and I'd ban all the ones made in China I'd have every girl child sent to Georgia to learn to smile Talk with that southern accent, it drives me wild. I'd have all the fiddles made in Virginia, cause they sure can make them sound so fine. I'm going up on Wolverton Mountain and see a Clifton Flowers and have a sip of his good old Arkansas wine. Southern pride in the house here in this song all the way talking about how uh, he would uh, make a ho national holiday when Patsy Klan died as well as a lot of other things from Florida to Texas to cars Alabama. cars made in the Carolinas rather than uh, coming from uh, you know Asian China. countries such as China and Japan. China, yeah. China. yeah so yeah he's uh, talked about a lot of things here uh, if the South would have won. Yeah, this major war that they're talking about. Uh, yeah, things would have definitely been different, I guess, for US of A. The South is often ignored, you know. I mean, uh, you only hear about them when it comes to elections and things like that because of their population and specifically in Florida. Um, the, you know, otherwise, the South of America, South of United States of America is completely ignored. And you really, as an outsider or a person from another country, you re very rarely hear about what's happening in the South. They don't matter to the America, Americas, the United States of America, which is really sad because uh, as music reactors, we know so much talent has come out of that, those areas. But sadly, in the real, real world, America kind of shuns the Southern states and they are vastly ignored as far as a uh, lot of things are concerned. So they definitely feel left out and this country's, this song is perhaps testimony to how they feel left out and how they don't have a say in so many major things and uh, the other side has it all in their favor.
I like the way he sang it. I like the fiddle, the way it was made, playing. I like the fiddle factory also somewhere it would be in South itself. I like all the business proposition to kind of a legal uh, 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 remedies and things like that that were uh, proposed here. Uh, everyone has these fantasies. If this would have happened, what would happen? And he has his own way of saying it that he would be the president of the southern states. So perhaps it would he be would run for president. Yeah, he wouldn't be. He, he, he wanted to become uh, the president of southern states of America, something like that. Uh, it, it, it was fun to listen to. I know what is reality and what is fiction. This is fiction, this is fantasy. It is some say, a musician who wants to express if that would have happened, how things would have been, how it would have spanned out. We don't know how it would have been. It's just, you know, a musician, an artist always has this liberty to uh, be a you know or create a picture for people this is how it would have looked I, I don't think he is intending anything more than what uh, you know this fantasy would have been among a lot of minds that if we had had our way this would have been this way and that way and things like that and there is always you know those dreams are there those emotions are there that has to come out and this was a beautiful way to get it out it was all positive it was all a good way of saying that he mentioned some uh, a murderer or something like that who comes and uh, smiles on TV. Of course, a lot of people disagree with all that. But, uh, you know, when things reach a certain level... Yeah, those, who, those who are, even, even though they're murdered, it's, uh, sometimes they write books and they become so famous they yes, they do, they do. Instead of directly putting them yeah, to death, even yeah. when they're proven murderers, so, they're not given the death sentence. In saying you would change that. We would say they're that they would be punished. They yeah. wouldn't be wasting time rotting in prison and wasting the money of the people. In, uh, in big countries, uh, uh, be it America, be it India, and especially where democracy is uh, at play, it's not dictatorship or it is not autocratic. What happens? There is a lot of things that keep uh, uh, go going through a churn that is not required. Unnecessarily, uh, things are churned into things that is not required, and after the churning, you know, bad things become good so suddenly because a lot of thoughts and a lot of opinions and opinions and opinions, and this opinion versus that opinion, and many a time, bad opinions or you know, evil opinions have a, have their way because they have uh, the freedom to all the time uh, express their opinion or put forth their opinion, although it may be not in the favor of the country or the favor of the country's people or in the favor of the country's future, but it happens to, you know, keep on going on. There, there are so many bad things you just can't put a stop to because there are too many people who are supporting that too and you don't know what, uh, you know, a, a different way of dealing with it. Whereas in countries like dictatorships uh, where, uh, you know, I think China is a clear dictatorship, you don't have that way. You have it this way or that way. You don't have both ways that even this will uh, be agreed to and that will, will be agreed to and that makes them progress faster. I'm not saying that is the right way of doing it but at the same time we have too much freedom and living in India I know we have way more freedom than even people of America may think of. We have way more freedom even for the things that you may not imagine we have freedom for that. And I sometimes feel that kind of freedom is also dangerous. Freedom comes with responsibility and people often not everyone is responsible in a free country. It's as simple as that. Also, that freedom gives Hank William Jr. right to, you know, make music the way he made it. And it is okay. It's, it should be celebrated. 